and welcome back to another Sims 4 YouTube video. Today we're going to be revisiting high school years because it's almost been out for almost two years. I figured today would be a perfect way to change something that I've never done before and that is get my Sim expelled from high school. Now I know it is possible. I've never had it happen to me nor have I ever gone out of my way to do it. So today we're going to change that. So let's get into today's video and see how fast I can get my Sim expelled from high school. Okay so it is day one of the the week. I honestly think maybe I can knock it out in like three days, but basically what we need to do to get her expelled from school is obviously not to show up to these classes. We can prank the whiteboard and if we get caught, then that'll go on our, um, our record. I think you get like three strikes. Not even a think. I know you get three strikes. So I'm going to try and have her cause a little chaos this first day. We're not going to class. Um, I'll have her prank the whiteboard and see where that lands us. I've never really done this before, so this is a new experience for all of us. But if she does get caught, then obviously that'll go on our record. Um, but my main focus is having her not go to class, try and get the principal to catch us today because that's what's really going to, you know, help us out in getting expelled. Obviously, we're not going to go to class, so I don't even need to do any of this. Is she actually pranking the whiteboard? Because it seems like she hasn't done it. Oh, okay. <laughs> the second I say that it actually works. All right. Well, you know what? I think we can have her go downstairs and maybe work on um, some programming skills as we wait for the first class to be done because at least she can get some money if she gets up in the programming skill. What is, okay. Yeah, as far as I'm aware of, the principal is kind of walking around. We've got all the students in the classroom. So not my student. She is programming. And the principal doesn't even look phased. Like I thought she'd walk around more. She's just standing and talking. This is kind of good for us. It buys us some time, but our class will be over in like 20 minutes. So at least she can be, at least she can be useful. You know, as long as she gets that programming score up, we can get some money while we are in high school. All right, so the morning class just finished. We did not go to that class obviously, but we can probably go get some lunch. I think maybe the next thing that we should do is maybe kind of roam the halls for the next afternoon class and see if that does something. I'm also going to, um, well, we don't need to prank that whiteboard. I can't prank this one because she's, she's touching that whiteboard. Oh, wait a minute. She left there. Here we go. Here's our chance. Okay, there we go. She was just a little stuck, so she couldn't do it, but she's now pranking this whiteboard. It's going to take a few minutes. So yeah, as I was saying, I think the next thing that we need to do is probably walk the high school, like the first floor, because that's where the principal's going to be. And if the principal catches us, then we're golden. I should probably also get my sim to have a locker since she's going to be here for a few days. Might as well have her, you know, get a locker. Oh, her locker looks so cute. This is a little design I chose. Okay, well, now we're gonna have her just kind of roam the halls. Maybe she can use the bathroom. You know what would be kind of funny? If I use the principal's office to practice her programming. Okay, so here's our end of day report. It's Paris had about as poor a day as possible. She might as well have been absent from class. This is exactly what we want. This is exactly the type of performance I need for Paris to be giving during her school hours. Now we're gonna go back home and wait for day two. I don't think we did that great for day one. I think performance wise we did great, but getting those strikes, we didn't do so well. Well at all. All right, back for day two here at Cooperdale. Okay, so I got her mischief level up so we can plant this stink capsule in the locker. I love how she's looking around like if someone's gonna see her. You've got a whole high school here looking at you. Like don't don't act like no one can see you. They, they can see you. Oh, so, oh, so we did get caught. I don't know, oh, we got detention. This is exactly what we needed, guys. This right here is what we needed to do. So we do have to serve detention. What if I skip the detention? What does that do? I love how I'm asking this as if you guys could respond back to me. I don't know exactly what it will do. I mean, maybe this is just what we needed for her to go um, and get expelled. But what I can do is plant some more stink capsules in the lockers around here. I don't know why you're embarrassed. Oh, because she got caught by the school staff. Okay. 
Jeez. So I think we've got a couple more lockers. We can do this one. I'm not gonna do mine. I don't wanna, you know, prank my own locker, but I don't know if there's any more that we can necessarily prank. Oh, the principal is out. How did she, wait a minute. Oh, we got, we got it again. Ty better shape up. They're one wrong move away from getting expelled. Maybe we will beat this thing in two days. I can almost guarantee you that if she doesn't go to detention, she'll get expelled. But she is headed for the bathroom where the principal is right now. Oh, oh. Are you seriously not gonna turn around? She just kind of let... I thought you got in trouble if your sins were like out of class, like if they went to the bathroom. She did not attend class, so I don't know why that's there. But since it's lunchtime, they can't technically get in trouble. I will have her work on her programming skill in the principal's office, just because I think it's quite funny to use the principal's computer. And the principal doesn't even care. She doesn't care, she's on her lunch break. So what are all these shirts that they're wearing? Is this like the computer team? Is this the shirts that they wear for the computer team? Well, my sim's about to get expelled, so I don't think we need to join an after-school program. Oh, this is a teacher right here. For a second, I thought this was a student. I don't know why, but I guess the teacher was talking to my sim and they're probably trying to talk some sense in her, like, just please get your stuff together. Oh, oh, the principal is walking in here. I wonder what she's gonna say. Oh, she's just chatting, chatting with us. Do not go to class. Just sit there and talk with her and see how long it takes. It takes May to be like, why aren't you in class? And why are you on my computer? I don't know what that was. Okay, well, lunch did end and she's not in class. So I wonder what she is yelling. I wonder what she's saying. She's like not doing anything. Avoided, oh, she almost got caught skipping classes. Good thing she is so convincing that she avoided detention. That's good. That's actually not good. I needed you to get caught skipping classes. I needed you to get in trouble and you didn't. So should I just plant one of those other, other like stink capsules and see if she gets caught? I swear if this is the way that we get expelled, she's gonna go home. I'm not serving this detention, but I will plant one more stink bomb. I actually like that locker decoration. We'll do this really quickly. Hopefully none of the people, oh, someone's fighting. Oh, you know what? That could be good. We could cause a fight tomorrow. Should I just cause a fight here? Okay, well, I don't know if she's actually serving her detention, but I can't go home. So it looks like we actually have to serve this detention, but there is a fight going on and literally no, no one's doing anything about it. So, and I don't even know what she's doing now. She's doing party tricks at high school. Okay, so we did get another bad end of day report, which is great for us. It looks like we actually have to serve the detention. I'm um, not sure how you can skip that, but I think tomorrow we should cause a fight and that should secure us an expulsion. All right, this is day three back at the high school trying to get expelled. And this was the day that I predicted that we would get expelled. So my plan is let's get to fighting. I want my sim to fight. I want my sim to fight a sim. And um, that's just what we're gonna do today. So maybe I can give a rude introduction to this sim. No, no hard feelings. I believe this is Sydney Price. Yes, no hard feelings. This is simply experimental. So don't take it to heart. Don't get offended, Sydney. No hard feelings. Oh, oh, we got a teacher here. I wonder how she's gonna react though, because she's standing there and she's not doing anything. But I want to fight them. I'm gonna shove, we'll shove them. She's just like standing there, not doing anything. Like as my sim is actively being mean to a student, like this is bullying. My sim is bullying another sim and, and nothing is happening. Okay, I think if we do more like mischief things that we'll be able to maybe get expelled from this. I just don't understand why this teacher is not doing anything. Oh, I guess there's exam room prep today, but it doesn't matter because we're not gonna do that. We're not even gonna go to class today. I think I really need to get a sim to like hate my sim, obviously for them to be able to fight. Um, half of these students aren't even in class. Oh, cause it hasn't even started. I thought class had already started, but apparently not. Well, what I could do is disrupt. Can I disrupt the um, the classes? Can I like scare the teacher? 
Oh, we have a fire drill. Okay, well, yeah, my sim should ace this because she doesn't want to be in high school. She doesn't want to be here. Maybe I can start a fight out here. What if I start to be rude to like these teachers? Like this teacher right here? Yeah, I can, uh, <laughs> I feel bad being rude to this teacher, but like my sim is actively trashing this teacher and yet nothing is happening. What if I shove this teacher? That's gotta be actions for like expulsion. If my sim were to, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Why is nothing happening to her? The day is almost done, and I really want her to get expelled today. What if she were to, like... Okay, she's getting yelled at. She's getting yelled at. She's, like, actively being rude to this teacher. Okay, so she did get an after-school detention, which is good. Yeah, so, because we disrespected the teacher so much, but I'm honestly... My work is not done. I still want her to get expelled and she's already angry too we've got like two hours to do this and i i really need there to be a fight i need there to be something okay well class is back in session so i guess what we can do is maybe prank another locker but we've already done that so many times see there's the principal right there i think if we okay she's walking out does she see my sim oh she does I think this might be, this might be it, guys. This might be it. She's literally doing the prank right in front of this teacher, or right in front of the principal. There's no way that she won't get expelled. There we go. And now she's she's begging for forgiveness now, but she was on her last strike. You're not in class, so you're getting detention. I thought she was on her last strike. Okay, we already have detention. I'm not asking for detention. I'm asking to be expelled. What if she starts like an argument with the teacher? With the principal, I mean. Why do I keep calling the principal a teacher? Like, please expel my sim, please. If I fight the principal of the school tomorrow, I have to get detention or like expelled. They can't not, not expel me for that. If you beat up your principal, that is grounds for expulsion. She's got to stay here anyways, because I can't leave. Like, I wish you could leave, and then that would be, like, grounds for expulsion. All right, well, I was wrong on my day three of having my sim expelled. So I thought for sure we would get it today. Oh, wait a minute. Can we actually fight this teacher over here? All right, so Pear seemed a little inattentive in class today. She should make sure her class skills are up before next week. Um, oh, she was! She was expelled! Okay, we did it. Okay, we did it. This is incredible news for us. Only took three days and honestly could have probably taken two if I had been a little bit more assertive in the first day. But she is sad that she got expelled from school and part of being expelled from high school is you can't go back into the high school years. So once your sim is kind of expelled, the only way for them to be able to get back into school is if they do it through like the rabbit hole system. I'm pretty sure. Like they can't like get back into school. Like they're done, she's out. Why don't you just go back home? Yeah, cause even now that my sim's back home, these are like the only careers that she can do. But if like my sim now, I aged her up to a young adult and if she wanted to get her high school career back, she could go to this little panel right here to work towards that high school diploma for $250 and then it would open up most of the careers as well so you're not completely lost I do want to point that out because there are some people like me who have never gotten their sims expelled from high school and might be worried that if their sims do get expelled from high school that there's no way for them to get back to it there are mods out there which I do want to cover where your sim can actually get a GED if they do get expelled or if they drop out of high school while they're still a teen, they can do that as well. But we learned our lesson and you can probably get your Sims expelled within like the first or second day. <laughs> Took us three days, which isn't so bad. I thought it was gonna take us a little longer. But with that, thank you all so much for watching today's YouTube video. I hope you all enjoyed this little Let's Play challenge. And let me know if you've ever gotten your Sims expelled or if you have gotten your Sim expelled, how many times have you done it? Because honestly, I will say it was quite fun being able to kind of like break the rules and not having like any like real life consequences, obviously. That's what I love about The Sims. You can have so many like storylines and it doesn't really affect 
you know, your real life. It's just in a game, so you, you're open to do whatever. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment down below. But if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And with that, I will see you all on Friday. Mm -hmm.